a bit of a different camera angle this time. Moved you up a shelf. So I'm going to be doing the 16 by 20, which only just fits in my bin. And uh, if I'm going to tip it, I'll end up hitting the camera, and so you're up higher. So you won't be able to see as well. Um, it's got really cold this weekend. Winter is here. It's been almost freezing the past two days, so I'm going to have to pack up my paints and take them inside, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out a way to do this inside without making a mess. i got cats and no real place to lock things up so they don't get into it. Um, so we're going to be using up my little little containers, trying to get rid of those, and use up as much paint as I can this weekend. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try doing a flip and drag with these three on this big one. Um, so I don't have, don't run out of paint. I'm going to be using the Liquitex. Um, we'll put some yellow in there too. We're going to use the yellow Liquitex, the orange, cadmium orange, and the quinacridone magenta. And I discovered, after my last painting, which we used as a test, that they are transparent. So they are not opaque. They will not lay on top of each other. They will show what's underneath. So there's a yellow streak that goes through here that you can't even see anymore. You could see it when it was wet, but not anymore. Um, so I'm going to be using white to kind of help make sure that it separates the colors. Um, this is um, kind of a robin's egg teal that I mixed up a while back. Um, and I'm going to use up the a little bit of this midnight blue. There's not very much, but just to get a little contrast. Okay. Here we go. not going to be too much drag in here. Just all flipped out. So, as long as I can keep it from that is super fun. Get my torch. So my torch ain't working very well. Maybe I'm out the juice.
I'm going to put some white down just to help the corners here. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of paint. Here we go. not too much yellow but we'll see how it goes I mean it's it is a transparent yellow so it'll definitely blend in with whatever's underneath it hopefully I've got enough white in there that it, everything doesn't just come in mishmash and I don't lose all this bright happy fun California looking stuff um, that's a weird thing. doing that. Hmm. Okay. I think it's level. It's hard with this one. It doesn't fit in my bin very well. Um, and we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. Let's see if it all ran off. Okay, here we go. I'm really curious to see what the colors are going to look like once it dries. It looks really super vibrant on my phone, but it's not that bright in person. Um, well, let's go down. I wish there was more of this orange. I like this orange. I lost a lot of blue on this side. There's only just a little bit. There's a little bit of that dark blue there. This part's pretty cool. You see this streak of yellow here is where I kind of, I dripped that. You can see how transparent it is compared to the yellow that's mixed next to the white. So it did turn quite green there, like super green. Um, Alright, well here we go. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.